Good morning. Happy, I think today's Wednesday. Yeah, happy Wednesday to you fifth graders out there. Mr. Swain, gonna give you a little Bible lesson this morning here on the boat, on the pond. Pond's a little muddy this morning from all the rain that we got last night, but I'm kind of just out here in the middle of it. And <laughs> got me a little selfie stick to help with my holding up my phone while I'm teaching. Uh, today's lesson in Bible is found on page 155 in your book. I would encourage you to read that, but I would also encourage you to read, um, it's found in John chapter 21. Um, this story is pretty cool, it involves fishing. I'm a huge fan of that. You can tell I got my rods. I thought, well, if I'm gonna get out on a boat and try to make this thing as real as I can for my students, I might as well uh, bring a fishing pole too. We fished the other day and I got one bite and that was about it. But this story, which is found in John chapter 21, involves um, obviously uh, Jesus and it involves John and it involves Peter and some of the other disciples. And uh, the story takes place after Jesus had been crucified and he had rose from the dead. And in this story, this is gonna be the third time that Jesus appears to his disciples. So um, Peter and John, from um, what I've read in the Bible and from what I've heard other preachers preach on, Peter and John have kind of this uh, little rival, rivalry going on between them. And uh, John refers to himself as the disciple whom Jesus loved. Peter was, um, you know, always the one ready to get out of the boat and cut off somebody's ear. And um, I think they just had a good, a good little rivalry going on. Anyway, so uh, they're involved in this story. And Peter decided that he was going to go fishing one evening. And so they fished all night. Some other disciples joined him and they fished all night and they didn't catch anything. And um, being somebody that fishes, and hopefully you guys have fished before, you can imagine how that could be a little discouraging to fish for a pretty good while. It was nighttime um, to fish all night and not catch nothing. And, you know, I would be a little discouraged. You always hope, I mean, that's why they call it fishing, but you always hope to kind of catch something when you go. But they hadn't caught anything yet. And so um, the sun was coming up. They had fished all night, no fish. The sun was about to come up. And all of a sudden they hear a voice from the shore. So just imagine, you know, somebody being on the shore over there and um, asking, hey, have y'all caught any fish? And they replied back, no. They didn't know who this was. They couldn't see. Um, they just heard the voice. And so the voice told them then, uh, I'll read this directly from my Bible. It says, um, Throw your net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. Wow. So this expert fisherman is telling these men who've been fishing all night, hey, well, why don't you try to cast your net on the right side? Now, um, there's a lot in this and I don't have a lot of time with these videos, but I'm going to try to make, um, make a couple of points to let you guys think about. Um, Number one, I love that it was the right side and not the left. Because we really, um, you know, it's talking about direction here, but, you know, when you are, um, it's a choice. They, they could have said, nah, we're good. We're going to give it up for the day. We fished all night, not caught nothing. So they had a choice there. I love that, that the Lord gives us choices in life. Remember, I've talked to you guys about how we're not all programmed to be robots. We have the freedom to make these choices. We have the freedom to make right choices and wrong choices. So they have a choice. Do they do what this expert fisherman, who they don't know is actually Jesus, has said to them yet? Um, the other thing is, like, I like that it's the right side. And I think that also shows just doing the right thing. Um, Jesus is obviously trying to help them out, and he's about to... Um, be a part of a miracle for these guys and so um, I like that he uses <laughs> uh, the analogy of just throwing it on the right side and that's that's the right side of this boat that I'm in today um, and so they have a choice they did make the right choice they did do what what the expert fisherman Jesus said and they cast their net on the right side and um, as soon as they had they they started catching some fish let me read some more here um, 
it says, um, when they did, they were unable, so they listened, they obeyed, and because of that obedience, they're seeing fruitfulness now. When they did throw their net on the right side, um, they were unable to haul the net in because of the large number of fish. And I'm going to tie this in a little bit with math, too. The Bible says that it was 153, and that also shows me that God does care about numbers. So math is important in God's eyes. And as soon as they had these fish in their net, they, they couldn't even haul it in. It, it says in verse 7, this is, again, John chapter 21, verse 7. It says, Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said, that's John talking about himself, Peter, it's the Lord. So they finally recognized after they had caught the fish, after they had been obedient, that it was the Lord's. And so Peter, being Peter, got out of the boat and started swimming to shore. They were about 100 yards or so, says the, says the Word of God, from the shore. Peter got off while the other ones start dragging this net and, and the boat to the shore. When they get up there, Jesus is having breakfast, some bread, some fish, and he asks them to join them. And um, they all knew it then that it was the Lord. And um, this is the third time that Jesus um, hung out with his disciples after his resurrection. So Jesus was, was eating with them. He was um, having breakfast with them, and he helped them out with a fishing adventure. There is more to this story. Um, if you read, we get into a little bit more about Peter and his relationship with the Lord through verses 15 through 22. No, actually 25. And I would encourage you to finish this chapter when you can. This is Mr. Swain out here on the boat today. I think I'm going to pick up a pole, cast a couple times on my way back to the shore, and maybe I'll catch my first fish of 2020. I appreciate you guys watching and uh, believing for the best.